Well, hello. It's day four of your 30-day yoga challenge, and I'm really excited about today. It's gonna be fun. We've got a kundalini practice for clarity and focus. This practice will help you dissolve old patterns, old limiting beliefs that keep you stuck in different areas of your life, and it will help you focus your creative energy so that you can do more of the things that make you feel inspired and alive. So if you've practiced kundalini before, you know how powerful it can be. And if you've never practiced kundalini, I think you're in for a treat. So kundalini practices revolve around something called kriya. And kriya is just a recipe. And the ingredients in kundalini kriya are typically some kind of breath work, some kind of mudra or hand position, some kind of sound or mantra, and then um, a hand or arm or body movement or posture. And all of these things come together to awaken and move energy. And that energy can be a powerful catalyst for positive change in your life. To begin every kundalini class, we do something called tuning in. And to tune in, you press the palms together at your heart, maybe a little bit more forcefully than you normally would, elbows out to the sides, and we chant together, Ong Namo, Guru Dev Namo. And it sounds something like this. Ong Namo. Yeah, if you've never done this before, it's gonna feel a little weird, it's gonna feel silly, that's okay. So what does it mean? Ong Namo, Guru Dev Namo, means I bow to the divine wisdom that is within me. It's an acknowledgement that all the answers to life's big questions, they're not out there somewhere, they're in me. All right, let's do this together. Palms come together, sit up nice and tall. We're gonna chant three times, big breath. Om Guru Dev Namo. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Om As you exhale, let the hands float down to your knees. Sit up nice and tall. Relax the shoulders. And just breathe in through the nose. Out through your nose. Bring a gentle awareness to the crown of your head. And begin to relax from the crown across your scalp. Across your forehead and your brow. Let go of any tension, any tense feelings that you find. Relax into your eyes and your cheeks and your jaw. And relax your shoulders. And blink your eyes open. All right, we're gonna work with a, th a few breath and energy activation exercises, and the first is a spinal flex. So the hands come to the knees, and then as we inhale, the spine lifts, heart comes forward, and as you exhale, round and flex. In kundalini, the, the shoulders don't really move. They're just a door frame for the spine to move in and out. And the pace is, is kind of dynamic. We're moving energy, moving the breath. Looks like this. All right, so about two to three breaths per second. Of course, if you start to feel lightheaded or a little dizzy, slow down, take it at your own pace. Relax into it, right? Okay, here we go. Close your eyes and begin. As you inhale, the heart lifts, and as you exhale, round and flex. Take it nice and easy here, relax into it.
And again, if you start to feel dizzy or lightheaded, slow down. You can do this at your own pace. Find a place within your threshold that feels good in your body. Feel the power of your breath moving through you, waking up every cell in the body with new possibilities. Just a few more breaths here, relax into it. Inhale, lift the heart, shoulders, stay and hold your breath for three, two, one. Exhale, relax, just normal breaths in and out through the nose. As you inhale, blink your eyes open. All right, a little spinal twist here. So bring the fingers and the thumbs to a point and then bring that point to the tops of your shoulders. As we inhale, we're gonna twist to the left. Exhale, twisting to the right. Again, nice dynamic pace here. Your eyes can be closed or you can keep them gently open. And again, the name of the game here is to relax. So let the muscles of the face relax. Just let the momentum of the arms swinging take you back and forth. Feel a smile in your heart to welcome the experience. Inhaling to the left, exhaling to the right. Feel the power of your breath to move energy. Again, listen to your body. If you start to feel dizzy, lightheaded, just slow it down. Take it at your own pace. You can stop if you like. Take a few breaths and then come back into it. This should feel good. Couple more breaths. Inhale, turn to face the front. Sweep your hands up to the sky. Big breath, palms come together overhead and hold your breath for three, two, one. Exhale, let the hands float down to the knees. Sit tall, shoulders melt from your ears. Just a nice normal breath here, in and out through the nose. Relax and slow it down. And blink your eyes open. All right, kundalini wood choppers. These are fun. You interlace the lower fingers of the hand and the index finger points straight out in front of you, thumbs pointing up. And then it's just like we're chopping wood. A big forceful inhale as we lift the hands and then a forceful exhale. <sighs> as we come down into the chop. Okay, looks like this. Cool, here we go. Big breath in to start. Again, the eyes can be closed here or gently open. And big, full breaths. Let your breath wash through you and feel its power to wake up every cell in the body, letting go of old patterns creating something new in our lives. You are powerful and your breath connects you to that power. And again, even though we're moving kind of forcefully here, you can still relax into it. Let the muscles of the face be soft. Make it up like it's easy. We're all in this together. Imagine all your other fellow students 
chopping wood right now, right along with you. Arms maybe getting a little tired here. It's okay. Just keep on going. That heat is good for us. Feel it in the shoulders. Feel it in the biceps. Getting the heart moving, getting the blood pumping. Couple more breaths. Almost there. Inhale, take the hands straight up to the sky. Big breath in and hold your breath for three, two, one. Exhale, let the hands float down to the knees. Sit tall and breathe deep and full. Notice the container of your breath opening. Notice a feeling of maybe lightness in the body. Vibrancy. Maybe you feel a vibrating. Welcome it. Blink your eyes open. One more energization breath activity. You feel a little something in the the biceps and shoulders there? It's good for you. (laughs) All right, this one's fun. So we make a fist by curling the thumb into the base of the palm, curling the fingers over the thumb. As we exhale, the elbows come back. As we inhale, arms cross over the heart, over the chest. Exhale, elbows come back. And the next one, inhale, the fists come all the way past the ears. And so it looks like this. Okay, Um, just remember every time the elbows come back, you exhale, it's an easy way to remember. Here we go, sit up nice and tall, and exhale. Big, full breaths. Each time the elbows come back, you exhale. And relax into the motion. Feel the swinging of the arms, the momentum of the arms, just carrying you. In Kundalini, there is something called an arc line. Everyone has one from the ear to ear over the head and women have an extra one from breast to breast and we're cutting across those arc lines. Those arc lines hold old patterns of energy and they can keep us stuck in ruts and so we're cutting them loose. We're creating new possibilities here, clearing a path for something new. Feel that. Couple more breaths, almost there. Just let yourself relax into it. As you inhale, take the hands all the way past the ears, elbows point to the sky and hold your breath for three, two, One, exhale, let the hands float down to the knees, sit up nice and tall, relax into your breath, and feel, observe the effects of your breath. Slowly blink your eyes open. We've been sitting for a little while, so let's extend our legs long on the mat. We'll take a little forward fold to open things up. So feet a little closer than hip distance, flex your feet, Reach up as you root the sit bones down and as you exhale, let's take a fold here, nice and easy. Reach the heart forward. And then begin to imagine the sit bones spreading open, the knees turning ever so slightly in. And we fold, feeling that internal rotation of the thigh bones in the hip as we take it deeper. Just let yourself come down to your fullest expression, wherever that is. Breathe into the back lines of the legs here. As you inhale, we'll rise up, take a little counter stretch, bend into the knees, hands and feet come down, press and lift your hips, let your head fall back. Big breath in, 
Exhale, ha. Lower your sit bones and sweep your legs around to come to an easy seat once again for our final Kriya. This is called Gyan Chakra Kriya. And it wakes up a powerful energy that dissolves old patterns, old limiting beliefs so that we can create abundance in our lives. There are three ingredients to this Kriya. One is a mudra called Gyan Chakra Mudra. Index finger and thumb come to touch and the other fingers just stick out. Super simple. The second ingredient is this beautiful arm motion. So we're making these circles above the head. The way this motion works is we start out front and each hand sweeps to the opposite side of the head and comes back, opposite side of the head and comes back. So we're making these circles. The only thing you have to remember is that the hands stay above the heart. Other than that, let yourself be a little flowy, let it be dance-like, have fun with it. And then the third ingredient is a mantra. We're going to chant together, Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. And it looks like this, Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. So Sat Nam means I am part of the one truth. I'm part of everything. Wahe Guru means that one truth is infinitely powerful and infinitely beautiful. So I'm waking up this realization inside of myself and I can use that power to create abundance in my life. If you've never done this before, again, it's gonna feel weird. It's going to feel strange. I invite you to try it on. Anytime we do something new, it feels weird, it feels strange, but guess what? That's how we grow. So let this work for you. It's powerful stuff. Okay, I'm gonna time us. We're gonna do this for three minutes. So get yourself ready. Get your Gyan Chakra Mudra ready. And here we go. Close your eyes. Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. Sat Nam, Sat Nam. Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Sat Nam, Sat 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 Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe. Keep on chanting, keep on breathing, and relax. Let yourself have fun. Let yourself play with this. Let the movement and the breath and the mantra flow through your body. Feel the energy waking up, rising inside you. Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. Sat Nam, Sat. Nam Wahe Guru Wahe Guru Sat Nam Sat 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 Nam Wahe Guru Wahe Guru Almost there keep it going keep breathing Sat Nam Sat Nam Wahe Guru Wahe Guru Sat Nam Sat Nam Wahe Guru Wahe Guru Sat Nam Sat Nam Wahe Guru Wahe Guru Sat Nam Sat Nam Wahe Guru Wah Imagine peeling away these old layers old patterns that don't serve you anymore, old limiting beliefs that keep you stuck in the mud, peeling them away, dissolving them with mantra, with breath, with this mudra. Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. Sat Nam Sat Nam Wahe Guru Wahe Guru Sat Nam Sat Nam Wahe Guru Wahe Guru Sat Nam Sat Nam Wahe Guru Wahe Guru Big breath, take your hands up to the sky, bring the palms together to meet and hold your breath for three, two, 
One, exhale, let the hands float down to the knees, sit tall. Let the shoulders melt from your ears. And just breathe. Big, full, deep breaths in and out through the nose. Blink your eyes open. Let's make our way to our backs and let all of this beautiful energy work integrate in Shavasana. Let yourself relax. If you have a pillow or blanket, you want to make yourself comfy in Shavasana, go ahead and do that. to your fingers and your toes, your wrists and ankles. Inhale, take your hands up above your head, stretch, wiggle your fingers and toes, waking up to a new beginning. And draw knees into chest, roll yourself up to your right side and then push yourself up to a seat, palms to your heart. Let your shoulders relax, breathe. We bow to one another, to the light, to the love, to the power and the beauty that is our essence, to the truth, the one truth that we all are. Raise your thumb knuckles to the point between your brow. Namaste. I hope you had fun with this. I hope you let yourself play, explore, experiment a little bit. It's a really powerful practice and I want you to experience that. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button, ring the bell. It really supports this channel. It supports me to continue uh, offering these videos to you and I love doing it. Um, if you wanna keep this practice going with more of a flow, then click on this 15 minute flow practice next to me. I think you'll love it.